Shalom. This is your brother Tazaya Amar, GMS Valdosta, Georgia, coming out with another lesson. But first of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders for teaching us these truths and giving us the real knowledge of these scriptures. I want to say Shalom. And all salutation to all the sisters and brothers that striving in this truth also. Shalom. Um, the subject tonight is going to be on the wicked devices that are going to plague us. And you know, this, they right up under our noses. And a two-third of us is not going to even... Realize, hey, that these weapons are formed against us. And and with that being said, I'm going to start out with my first scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Hey, the we are not ignorant of his devices. But hey, our counterparts, that two thirds, they have no idea what's coming to this place or what's fix, fixing to be implemented on them. And they don't even care. Matter of fact, there's a situation in, in our local area where the kids got to take um, a flu shot, some some type of flu shot. Take that in, and it's mandatory. If you if you don't take it, you won't be able to go to school. One thing and another. Okay. Let that resonate in your spirit. All right, then I'm going to go from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 to the book of Psalms, chapter 21, verse 11, and it reads, Psalms 21, verse 11, for they intended evil against thee, they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. You know, even though these devils, they got all these devices, all these different situations, that they make it mandatory, hey. But, the Most High ain't gonna let them, hey. They fighting a losing battle. But, as the scripture reads, hey, he know he's had but a short time, so hey, he pulling out all stops. Yeah, no holes barred, as they say. But he's still going to lose. And that's what the scriptures say. For they intend evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. So no matter how hard they try, look, it can always come back and bite them in the ass. Prime example. They flooded out of neighborhoods with cocaine and guns. Okay. This is back in the 80s, which was a crack cocaine epidemic. All right. All of a sudden, the crack cocaine epidemic turned into um, a, a white folks epidemic. But it was intended to take, their intention was to, hey, destroy us Make us destroy each other within, you know. Implode, as they call it. But it backfired. The implode explode. And it started, hey, it started affecting their neighborhood. Yeah. Their people. All right. Another prime example. Whenever it was a, when it was a crack cocaine epidemic. 
Okay. They said, hey, we'll just build more prisons. Not one time did anybody mention, you know, rehabilitation. But when the opioid addiction came about, and uh, it was affecting them, theirs, and those, all of a sudden, they don't want to be, they don't want to, hey, matter of fact, they say, hey, we're not going to even put the doc, we're not going to put the doctors in jail for over-prescribing opioids. And we're going to build more rehab centers for, hey, for the people that are, uh, is addicted to opioids. But when it was a crack cocaine epidemic, they said build more prison. Put them niggas in jail. Yeah, lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. That was, that was, that was the motive. It was a, a war on drugs. Where the war on drugs now that it's an opioid uh, epidemic? You're not saying lock them up. Now you're saying give them rehab, rehab. Uh, Narcam, Narcam, which is the something that bring you back whenever you OD on 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 uh, opioids. But but only help Jake had when he was on crack cocaine was hey lock him up. Man, the Most High is a a terrible power to be messing with. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Psalms, chapter 37. Thirty-seven, verse 7. The book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 7. Rest in the most high Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. You know these these devils, hey, they can't sleep unless they come up with some kind of way to destroy, you know, the Israelites. That's their main goal. If they can't look, if they can't come up with a device or some kind of scheme or whatever to get rid of you, then hey, they they, they, leave, they, they lose sleep at night. And I imagine it's it's a lot of sleep at nights for some of them because everything they try or everything they come up with. Hey, it backfired on them. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Psalms, chapter 140. What, Psalms 140, verse 8. And it reads, Grant not, O Yahweh, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. It's a lie. Look. When is the devil going to realize that they, hey, look, everything that they plan is that hey, they're working against the most high. Look. He only going to let you make check. Whatever you do, you, you're going to be in check. You ain't going to never get checked. You, and then he going to check make your ass. But whatever move you make, you're going to be in check. You ain't figured that out yet. Every move you make, every breath you take, <laughs> the most high, hey, he, yeah, he in command of all that. So lock him for Ren. All right. And, I'm, and from that, I'm going to move to the book of Second Thessalonians. So, so like the second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven and it reads 
lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Man, these devils have been coming over with situation after situation. There's no way that you can chronological, you know, keep them all in chronological order because there are a lot of things that we don't know about. For instance, we knew about the incident in Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. We know about Rosewood. We know about the Devil Punch Bowl in, in Mississippi. But now lately, there's another situation that just just came out that was been that had that they've been trying to hide. Well, they had it hid for years, but eventually it came out. This is a place called Okodi, Okodi, or Okony, or however you want to pronounce it. Florida, an all-black town resident that was completely decimated by Edomites, all because they were prospering on their own. You know, hey, they was independent, doing well. And the devil couldn't stand that. And that's what he do. He's never content with what he got. He has always a problem with what Jake got. His main objective is to make sure Jake is at the bottom of the totem pole. And and to all you sisters and brothers that think that somehow, some way, that he gonna love you, and that he pat you on your back, he smile in your face, he might even give you a promotion on the job. But don't forget, he don't love you. And if if any kind of way that it can get rid of you without without it being obvious. That's what he'll do. He just went in the least little situation where he can get rid of you. If he can find somebody that can do what you do of a different nationality, don't think now time he won't get rid of you. He'll find a way to get rid of you. Seen it done a thousand times. So, hey. Never think that hey, you beloved it in this in in this society. That, that ain't gonna happen. And with that, I'm gonna move to the book of Michael, chapter two. Michael chapter two and verse one. Michael chapter 2 verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And this is what this devil do. He just sit back and plan different ways of keeping you at the bottom of the totem pole. And work evil upon their bed. Hey, this devil, even when he sleep, he dreaming of ways to keep you, you know, under his foot. When the morning is light, they practice it. Hey, soon as daylight come, he implement. He, yeah, he began to implement his plans, some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion, just to see, you know, what is the outcome. See how it gonna work. And if it don't work exactly the way he wanted wanted to, this is what he'll do. He'll go back and sleep on it and replan it. Hey. And the mistakes that he made, hey, he'll, he'll affect those. Because it is in the power of their hand. Look, they can do that. They're in rulership. They're reigning now. So, hey, he got time on his hand, hey, to devise wicked implementation upon you, Jakes. 
whether you believe it or not. And with that, I'm going to move to 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 6. Sin, it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So all these devices and wicked, wicked instruments and different situations that the devil has, you know, decide that they're going to, you know, implement on us. Okay. Go for it. They're not going to work. Because we are in the hand of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So whatever you think going to happen, it ain't going to happen. So, in the words of the old folks, you wish in one hand, and shit in the other one and see which one uh, full up the quickest. Because whatever you think going to happen, ain't going to happen. And thus said the most high, Yahweh by Shem, I was shy. And with that, I'm going to move to the book of Esther 9 and 25. This is the book of Esther, chapter 9, verse 25. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letter that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his son should, should be hanged on the gallows. Did you hear that? Let me read that again. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. So what that basically that's what 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 is that telling you, you devil? Hey. Everything that you implemented upon the the apple of your how about Shem I was shot I it's from the fall back on you. Every baby that you fed to the alligators from the fall back on you. Every Jake and every Eve that you hung on them trees for the least little things from the fall back on you. And you know what? Everything is righteous. It's going to be righteous up on you. Whatever happened to you is going to be righteous judgment. And look. There's going to be. Ain't going to be no remorse. Your Hawa Baha, Baha Shem and your Hawa Shai ain't going to have no remorse. And hey. We ain't going to have no remorse. So hey. Put it on yourself. You don't have you you didn't have no remorse for what you did. You have no remorse for what your ancestor did. So hey, what goes around comes around. And it ain't karma, it's righteous judgment. And with that I'm gonna say Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS. For giving us this true knowledge and the understanding of these scriptures. And for they do diligent for striving in this word for over 30 years and never fought, never faulting, and never getting away from the from this truth. Shalom.
Kwame Yashirala and a bugger bugger. Shout out one.